I am removing roof walks from my box cars. Why am I doing it? And how am I doing it? That's coming right up. I'm Roy Smith. I'm glad you could join me. At long last, I'm removing the roof walks from my box cars that still have them. This is the next step in my freight car upgrades. I will put a link to the upgrade series playlist down below. Here you can see some of those box cars that still have roof walks. Altogether, there are 10 such box cars on my layout. Before I start to remove the roof walks, though, two questions. First, should we even call them roof walks? Some people say no. The correct term is running boards, not roof walks, because the brakemen used to run on the boards across the cars to set and release handbrakes. Well, I'm not sure, but I think that some railroads called them running boards and other railroads called them roof walks. In any case, most model railroaders seem to prefer the term roof walks. So in this video, I'm going to call them roof walks. Second question, why am I removing them? Very simply because my layout is modern era and there are no roof walks on modern era boxcars. Way back in the olden days of railroading, brakemen walked on the roof walks from car to car to set the brake wheels. Here you see a brakeman in a picture taken by an unknown photographer, probably in the 1940s. Clearly this was a dangerous job, especially if the train was moving at the time. So the days of roof walks were numbered, especially once railroads began using air brakes, controlled by the engineer, to stop the whole train as a unit. In 1966, the federal government announced that boxcars ordered or delivered after April of that year would be built without roof walks, and roof walks would have to be removed from existing boxcars by 1978, although this date was later extended to 1983. Thus, the last of the roof walks disappeared by the early 1980s, about the same time that cabooses disappeared. And also at that time, brake wheels were moved down from where they used to be to where you see them today. Handbrakes are still used on parked freight cars as an additional safety measure since the compressed air stored in the car's pressure tanks may leak out. A crewman now sets the handbrakes by moving from car to car on the ground instead of on top of the cars. And he does this while the train is not moving. Crewmen call this tying down the car. Of course, some cars like covered hoppers continue to have roof walks, but on these cars, they are used for access to roof hatches, not to set and release the car's handbrakes. And the roof walks on these cars certainly are not used while the cars are moving. Okay, now you know why I am removing the roof walks and why I'm moving the brake wheels down on the ends of the cars. So let me show you how I'm doing it. I'm starting with this box car. Using an old X-Acto knife, I simply pry off the roof walk. They're not glued on. This leaves little holes in the roof of the car. There are two ways to fill those holes. One way is to cut off the pins that held the roof walk to the top of the box car. And after putting a dab of glue in the hole, Reinsert the pins in the holes. As you can see, the pins might not completely fill the holes. In any event, some surgery is required to get rid of the rims into which the pins go. The second way is to fill the holes with plastic putty. That's what I prefer to do. With this method, it's also necessary to remove the rims by cutting and sanding them, either before applying the putty or afterwards once it has dried. Now I need to do some painting to cover the plastic putty. I choose the closest color that I have to match the existing color of the boxcar roof.
An unexpected result of painting with a color that doesn't quite match is that the roof of the boxcar is beginning to look as if it's been weathered, even though I haven't done any real weathering just yet. Here's another example in progress. Now, do you see the brake wheel near the top of the end of this car? I have to lower it. As you can see, the car on the left still has its brake wheel in the original position near the roof. And the brake wheel on the car on the right has been moved down to its new position. Like roof walks, brake wheels just pop out and then I glue them in their new lower position. Now I am working on the roof walk of yet another car and painting the spots of plastic putty. Here are the 10 box cars that I have been working on with their roof walks removed making them far more appropriate for my modern era layout. Again, note how the roofs of the cars appear to be somewhat weathered because of a slight difference in the colors of paint, even though I haven't really begun to weather them just yet. Well, there you have it. That's why and how I remove roof walks on my box cars. Now, how about you? Is your layout modern era? And if so, have you removed or do you plan to remove any roof walks that may have come on your box cars? I've been upgrading my freight cars, but I still have a lot of work to do to make them run better and look more realistic. There's a link to my complete freight car upgrade series down below. I hope that you will join me for upcoming episodes in the series. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done it yet. And remember, there are well over 300 videos for you to watch right here on this channel. I will put a link to my videos page down below. Again, I'm glad you could join me today. I'm Roy Smith. Until next time, happy railroading.